Hey guys, it's James from Zeitgeist in video three of how to interact with the Zeitgeist application. And uh, this is how to make a prediction on the Zeitgeist application. Now we get into the real meat and drink of what Zeitgeist is all about. Uh, so again, you're gonna head on over to app.zeitgeist.pm and off we go. Uh, and it loads up pretty quickly as you can see. I'm running in dark mode. You can switch between light mode or dark mode. At the moment, I think the default when you log in is, uh, or for the first time, if you've never been on Zeitgeist before, it'll be light mode. Uh, but most people prefer dark mode, so I'm gonna operate there. Um, now, we have a whole bunch of markets in front of us. Um, you've got your wallet up here. Now remember we connected via sub wallet. It's still picking up that we're connected via sub wallet. You can see my little Zeitgeist NFT avatar there, uh, which I might even have a badge. I can even double check if I've uh, got a badge from trading. Um, do I have a badge? Well, maybe I'm gonna waste, I'm gonna waste some time here. So we won't do that right now. Um, but that's where I would check if I have a badge. But anyway, it's come back to the market. So we're gonna to go to, you can just hit the Zeitgeist logo to go to the home page if you want. Uh, on the right hand side, you have uh, your trade slip, which refers to basically just like you can think of a slip, like a piece of paper. Um, it's like your, your prediction ticket, it's like a little ticket that you made a prediction on and you wrote it down. That's what trade slip means. It's a little slip of where you made your trade. Um, the exchange is referring to every asset on our market. You can actually, and that's, this is where uh, you can quickly sell positions. You can sell some, some of the, the assets that you may hold if you wanna get out of a position. Um, you could just find some quickly and buy some more. Uh, you just hit this drop down menu here. You can see I made a purchase uh, for the US Senate market not too long ago. Um, who's gonna win their Democrats, Dems or Republicans? Uh, I had predicted Republic, uh, Democrats, so that's why it's automatically, it was sitting here. I just hit that drop down menu and everything pops up and we can search for Brazil uh, is in the FIFA World Cup. It shows you which market it is. Uh, also there's tornadoes. Uh, I think those are just called long and short positions. Let's have a look. Um, ah yes, oak, long. So you could, also you may be able to find the um, tornado long, there we go. So that's for a scalar market, I'll explain that in due course, so hang in there. But basically all your assets are in this exchange section. Anyway, we wanna make ourselves a prediction, so let's go and find a market that works. Now you can go through some of the popular ones, uh, what's pretty cool is very quickly, um, prediction markets are designed uh, and by nature they are indicators of what is a likely scenario to be or, or what the likely outcome is going to be. And so we've written into our interface right here, you can have a look at a glance, what is the prediction going to be? And so in this one, it's the NFL match between Buffalo Bills and Miami Dolphins. The prediction is the Bills are gonna win. You can look very quickly. Then on the scalar market, which is just longing and shorting a position, um, what will the total volume of locked dot be for the Oak Network parachain auction on uh, to become a polka dot parachain? The, Prediction is 130,000 dot uh, will be locked up. 130,279 dots. That's very cool. We can get a very nice, precise um, indication through that scalar market. Um, what will the price be of the ACA token, ACA token, ACA, of course, on the Akala network, um, which is the polka dot based parachain of the Akala and Karura teams? Uh, the prediction is 20. So you can look at a at glance what the prediction is. That's the great thing about Zeitgeist and prediction markets. Um, it's, it's all about getting insight into potential outcomes. Uh, and that's why uh, we, we are so passionate about understanding the truth, understanding what is the most likely scenario in a given situation. And there's so much that you can use um, and you can do with this data. Now, uh, let's get into making a prediction. So I've given you that little side um, track, my apologies. Uh, so I'm gonna make a prediction on the FIFA World Cup. So I'm gonna hit sports. I know there's a FIFA World Cup market and you can go and explore and look for markets that work for you. Um, and there we go, who will win the FIFA World Cup in 2022? 
Now, obviously me being English, yes, I'm wearing a South African uh, rugby jersey right now, but that's because I live in South Africa. I was born in England, so I have a dual heritage um, and love my football, my soccer. Uh, and so we're gonna make a prediction about the FIFA World Cup. Obviously as an England fan, I think England have a good chance. So we have a look at the prices here. Brazil, strong, strong contenders here. Uh, they are at 33% chance of winning. I think that's a little high, but it's still early days yet in this market. Um, so we probably need a bit more trading to take place to sort of regulate the, the most likely outcomes. But I would say out of all of these options, Brazil are probably the, the favorites. So that is a, a nice indicator. Um, you got England, France, Spain, Argentina, Germany, Belgium, Portugal, Netherlands, or someone else. Will it come from someone outside of those teams? It's going to be very interesting. Now, I actually own a couple of England tokens. If I hit sell in my trade slip, you should be able to see how many I own. Uh, I own 30, so I own 30 England tokens at the moment. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I wanna buy more right now because, uh, I mean, it's putting them at second favorites. Maybe I should. Obviously, I think they're going to do very well and have a strong chance because uh, they have a very strong squad, some incredible players, um, and they really are doing well at the moment. I mean, they made the, the UEFA Euros final last year. They lost to Italy in a penalty shootout. They made the FIFA World Cup semi-final in 2018 and lost an extra time. So uh, th this could be their year. Obviously, as an England fan, I hope so. Maybe I should buy a couple of more. For the sake of this, let's just do it. Let's see if we can buy some more England tokens. So the current price is 0 0.09 ZTG and we hold 570 ZTG. So I'm gonna buy about 15 more. It's gonna give me a, a calculation. Um, it's, oh, this is in sell. So we wanna buy some more actually, we wanna sell, uh, let's buy. So I wanna buy 15, it's going to tell me that I'm gonna spend 1.5 ZTG. Uh, so let's do it. We sign the transaction. Little dialog box is gonna pop up from your sub wallet. It's gonna say, do you wanna approve this request? You might need to enter your password. So have your Polkadot wallet password handy, whether that be talisman, polkadot.js, sub wallet, or another one. And we hit approve. And we let it broadcast the transaction on the network and uh, we wait for that transaction to go through. There we go, trade done. I now own 45 of those England tokens. If we hit sell, you can actually, you should be able to see it'll pull up. I own 45 of them. You can also see all your positions very quickly on the left-hand side here, which if you're not seeing, just hit this arrow up here. Just hit that arrow, it'll pull all the, the menu options out. Go to my account and you hit my portfolio and it'll show you what positions you're in at the time. So it's just pulling data. Uh, it should be putting data off chain. Yes, I wasn't patient enough. Um, so we just wait for it to pull through all the data of what this specific Zeitgeist account holds. So he owns uh, three positions at the moment. In the Buffalo Bills Miami Dolphins game, he's predicted Dolphins. He owns 10 of those assets. Remember, each each outcome is an asset. Each outcome represents a digital asset or even not just represents, is a digital asset, which is why we have an exchange over here. You can quickly jump into any one of these assets and buy or sell right here because this is, each one is a digital asset. And at this point, it's also worth making clear exactly how these predictions and forecasts start to work. If you read my blog, which explains what prediction markets are and how prediction markets work, you would have an understanding. But uh, for those that haven't, just very quickly, um, why these insights start to develop is because these markets work on a standard supply and demand economic model. And as more of these tokens and assets are purchased, their price goes up. And if a price goes up, that starts to indicate what that likely outcome will be. That's why each outcome is an asset or vice versa. Each asset is an outcome. So in the same way we saw in the FIFA World Cup uh, market, Brazil is extremely likely at the moment to win the World Cup because so many people on our app have been buying that Brazil asset. Now, if more people came along and bought the England asset, that would start to indicate that England have a higher chance. So even me purchasing the England asset, 
a little bit earlier would have increased the price a little bit and that starts to indicate that England have a higher chance. Now other people with more insight may come along and say no 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 England are too high here I'm going to buy others um, and I think um, the Netherlands is a really cheap buy right now. I know the Nether I have insight into the Netherlands. I'm going to buy the Netherlands and that would increase the price of the Netherlands and decrease the price of uh, the other assets. And so the standard operation and economic model of supply and demand starts to determine the price of the assets and therefore starts to indicate the outcome of what will likely happen and that is why prediction markets work. Now let's continue. So I own 10 Dolphin win tokens. Um, I own 92 Democrat win tokens in the US midterm Senate um, elections and then I own 45 of these England to win the FIFA World Cup tokens. Now, if I wanted to sell those and I think, oh, actually, I'm not so sure or even better, even better, if I wanted to I actually think, wow, you know, a, a, I bought in here, it's actually gone extremely well and I can get out now, I can do that. So let's have a look here. Um, I'm, I can't remember what I purchased my Democrat uh, tokens at, um, but I do know, let's put it this way, I do know that I bought my England tokens um, quite uh, quite well below that 11 ZTG, uh, point 11 ZTG or 0.11 ZTG uh, per token. So I could sell those, but you know, I don't really want to let them go. But I, let's just, for the sake of, for the sake of this tutorial, let's quickly just sell a couple of demo, a DEM tokens. So I own 92, I'm going to sell a couple. I, all I do is hit sell. This is from within my portfolio. I'm not even in the market. I'm in my portfolio. I want to sell a couple of those. Let's sell 12 of them. It's going to calculate the latest price. Based on the latest price, it's going to tell me that I'm going to receive 5.6 ZTG. So let's do that. For some reason, it's not allowing me to sign the transaction. And there we go, it is now. Okay, it may have been because I had the other England trade slip open, so I needed to close it. So we're gonna sell some of those. It's gonna ask you to approve the transaction. We let it do its thing. It's uh, broadcasting the transaction on the network. We let it do its thing, there we go, success. I now own 80 of those uh, Democrat tokens. Now you could, as the prices change and fluctuate, you could say, you know what, this has now gone extremely high. You could have bought Brazil really early right now in the FIFA World Cup prediction market, um, and you bought it really early, and now Brazil is extremely inflated. You could sell those and actually make um, a fair amount of ZTG off of that prediction. So it's really simple. It's not that difficult. If you get stuck, all you gotta do is jump over to Discord and uh, you can ask. You can see there Tom has uh, already replied saying, is there an error? I'm going to get back to him shortly about uh, an error that I was having. Um, but as you can see, that's it. That's how you do it, guys. It's not that difficult. That's the basic way to make predictions on the Zeitgeist application. Um, and the more you trade, remember to check out that blog, blog.zeitgeist.pm, the NFT launch blog post. You'll find uh, a Google sheet where you can actually go through all of the the various requirements and criteria to win yourself a couple of uh, badges and equipables for your Zeitgeist profile. Um, I can very quickly here, and I know this video may be a bit long for you, so if you are done, cool, thanks for watching. But uh, let's have a look if I've earned any badges. So not at the moment, I think, if I click it, will there be some equipables popping up? Resources, I hit resources and no, there is no resource at the moment. So, but that's where I'd be able to see my Zeitgeist equipable badges and I'd be able to uh, equip my Zeitgeist profile with pretty cool little badges, which I'll show you in another video anyway. Okay, so just before we go, I'm gonna just show you the other type of market available on our app. Uh, everything we've used so far is what's called a categorical market. Uh, there are different categories of outcomes. 
Um, and you get, technically you get three types of markets, categorical markets, scalar markets and combinatorial markets. Combinatorial are pretty advanced. We're not gonna get into those now, um, but I will show you the other one, which is a scalar market. Now a good scalar market to show you would be the tornadoes market. Uh, if I just search torn, will I get the tornado? There we go. How many preliminary tornado sightings in the USA will be reported in November 2022? Now, this is really interesting because this is giving us insight now. The prediction is 265 are going to be reported. Um, so that's really, really interesting. Um, and again, just highlights how cool our app is to, to give us that insight. Now, how is it coming up with the figure 265 when your options, if you click on the market, your options are only a long or a short, right? Well, what it's doing is it has a range. And in that range, the scale in, the, the, in that range, uh, the more longs that are purchased, the asset moves closer towards the higher range. More shorts that are purchased, the asset moves closer to the lower end of the range. And so the range and parameter is set when the person that created the market has set the parameter of zero to 700. So every time you buy a long, what you're doing is you're saying it's going to be closer to 700. Every time you buy a zero, uh, sorry, a short, you're saying it's gonna be closer to zero. So there's been a lot more shorts than there have been longs. So we've had 62% um, of the purchases being shorts, and that works out to about, on that scale between zero and 700, 265. And that is how a scalar market works. So we could do that now. I have absolutely no idea. I'm gonna go with the, the majority because I don't understand weather patterns. So I shouldn't be taking a punt. Um, so I'm just gonna do this just to show you I'm gonna go with the majority and I'm gonna take a short. How many shorts do I wanna take? I wanna take two. Two shorts, um, it's gonna only cost me 1.2. I'm gonna sign the transaction. So now I own two shorts of this scalar market of uh, how many tornadoes will be reported in the November 2022 uh, tornado season in the USA. So there we go, transaction done, I own two shorts. And then when the market is resolved and the data is confirmed by the Oracle, uh, as someone who is holding shorts, if it is closer to the lower end of the range, the algorithm will calculate exactly according to how much I own and how much the, the total price was, how many ZTG I get in return. And if it was less, uh, and it was closer to the lower end of the scale as a short holder, I will make myself a decent profit. And so that is how scalar markets work. And that's it, guys. That's how you make predictions on the Zeitgeist application. That's how it's done. Not that difficult. Again, if you get into trouble, jump into our Discord, ask some questions there, uh, and the guys will be willing to help you out. Even drop in on Twitter, and uh, we will try and help you there as well or we'll probably re uh, redirect you to Discord, but if it's a simple one and we're available, we'll quickly jump in and try and assist. But uh, that's how you do it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've um, learned something. We'll see you in the next video.